Well, speaking of uh, mutilation and uh, humiliation. Yep. Yeah, so Cody and I worked on a... Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can say that. Oh, we can't. What? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let me be vague. Let me be vague. Bleep that. We shot something. Yeah, we filmed together. something for a project. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we really went through our paces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the key highlight... Well, you know, you got to understand, we, we faced some fears. Can wait, we talk... Wait, wait, wait. By the way, first of all, like, this is the first time that we've seen each other between recording podcasts for a while. Yeah. And so it's just kind of funny. Like you, what did you say at the beginning? You were like, uh, you told me that something happened to you and you're like, ah, oh, I'll save it for the podcast. Yeah. 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 Every, anytime I wanted to say something to you, I'm like, ah, I got to save it for the show. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> so it's like, just like us standing beside each other on our phones. Like, well, cause we can't, we got to preserve, you know, preserve the magic. Yeah. I know. And I, I, I mean, we both get it. It's just a funny. Yeah. It's just a, situation. it's a weird thing that you commit to. Yeah. So, um, we, uh, People on set. Do you guys even? Yeah. Fuck with each other. Ah! Save it for the Shh. fucking show. We have to save it. Shut up. Podcast. And even as we were filming, we we're having a little banter in between. I keep telling Cody, save it <laughs> for when they're recording this show. <laughs> okay, so let's tell them. So let's tell them. we can't we can't say what it was that we shot, but no. it's probably never going to see the light of day. Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever going to see this footage. I don't think. Maybe maybe they will. Who knows? Maybe you'll see it one day. But, um. Yeah, so I think the you know the the tone of the day was to face some fears. Yep. All right. Um, and the particular fears we dealt with were animal related. Yeah. So first, you know, before we get into you know the hero moment, and and I and I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes, we did drive a Tesla into, into a, camel. a camel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we <laughs> killed lobsters with our bare, bare hands. Yeah. Yeah. No. If they, how funny would that have been if they brought one out and they were like. You need to cook this lobster like easy. <laughs> They're like, no, no, don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> oh man! So we, you know, first I got to talk about this snake. Can I talk about the snake? Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll just redact names and you know, but so this guy brings out uh like what looks like a, a Gatorade container at a football game. And, I, you know, I was joking. Imagine that shit was just at the Super Bowl and someone goes to undo the top and they're like, yo, and they go pour it on the coach and a five foot six rattlesnake <laughs> dumps out of it. Yeah. And just because that's what came out of this jar. It was a five foot six rattlesnake. This thing was a beast. Yeah. Like scary, yeah. scary snake. The dude handling it was probably like, what, 6'4"? That dude was huge. Yeah, he was a big boy. Big boy. And he had help. And he, when we're, when, we're, when we're saying this to you right now, when we say snake handler, what do you think he looks like? What do you think he looks like? You'd say he's Australian. Yeah. And you'd say he's probably wearing like green cargos yeah. and like a green like cargo shirt. And a bandana around his neck. That's exactly what he was wearing. Yep. I mean, could not be more cliche. Yeah. But so <clears throat> legendary. Yeah, this dude was awesome. Um, and we found out later that he had nicknames, or he was very good at improving nicknames for his animals. Mm -hmm. um, he referred to, he's like, he's like, I got a five foot six rattlesnake in there, um, and his name is Shithead for good reason. And I was like, can you imagine we get killed today by something named Shithead? <laughs> we found out later that he just calls this snake a number of names, so it, it kind of felt like a, you know, felt cheated. But... The snake comes out of the of the Gatorade tub, and this dude is having a time trying to get it to fucking chill out. Because the whole point was for him to grab its head and and drain the venom. So Cody and I are standing which, there, which by the way is called milking a yeah, snake. Milking a snake, and which the, we are very familiar with. Yeah, we're good at it now. <laughs> so this big ass dude has. You know, and by the way, they t the tools they use for the snake, it's like partially very legit. You know, they got these giant dentist tools like to fucking pin the snake down. And then they use uh, the most professional thing I've ever seen, which is a broom. Yeah. And 
uh, his assistant is leaning on the snake with all of his body weight. Like I can see the front of the, this dude's like business shoes planted into the dirt. Like he's trying to pin it down. And then the big guy, he's using some steel like hook and he's just saying, Oh, Oh, I'm going to kill it. If I put any more force, I'm going to kill it. Yeah, yeah. The whole vibe on set was like, Hey, do you guys really do, you do this? Yeah, ever? do you guys know what the fuck you're doing? Because <laughs> they're both like sweating and struggling. The, yeah. the Australian guy's like, Crikey, ah, <laughs> ah, she's a real mean one. <laughs> ah, little bugger. Hold it, hold it, thing, hold it, thing. It's really intense. And he, the snake got so pissed that it actually bit into itself, uh, trying to attack them. I felt kind of bad for it. Yeah. And meanwhile, its tail is going. It's like, <laughs> And it's like, ah, ah. so when he and all of us are like, <laughs> this is sick. He pins it down. And he goes to grab its head, and then it it like it nipped. So he pulled his hand back. He's like, ah, fucker! <laughs> like, dude, that it almost got you right you there. You can't. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> can't. That's what he said. Yeah. Hey, you fucking can't. <laughs> so then he he pins it. He grabs its head, and then he's trying to put it under his arm to like get it in position and i very distinctly remember him saying i can only hold his head for so long because my hands get tired yeah and i'm thinking about him because he's not he's not a young fellow he's towards the end of his career and the whole time i'm getting pissed internally like you know no shade to the guy but i'm like why at the end of your career are you fighting the scariest snake you've ever fought bro like don't do that mm -hmm. with us do that on your personal time yeah so as he's trying to get it under his arm the thing is like coiling and he can't get control and he's like barking at his assistant to be like unravel it unravel it <laughs> wrong way and now the dude is and the snake is just doing barrel rolls yeah straight up just like just yeah flipping over and the guy's like that that part stressed me out the most because that that looked like he had zero control over yeah. this thing yeah he's trying to like wrestle it while holding its mouth open and its yeah. fangs are just out like this thing's ready to kill <laughs> and his assistant is sweating bullets his eyes are so big and he's like doing these ballerina moves to get it to also i don't think you saw this but right when he grabbed his head some liquid sprayed on his assistant's face no yes and i don't know what it was but his assistant immediately was like like wiping his face <laughs> the, the venom from this thing would kill like an elephant yeah. You know, the guy was describing it to us. He's like, if you get a, any any part of this, even the smallest amount in your bloodstream, then like you, in your leg, for example, your leg would swell up to like three times its size and they'd have to like cut it open to relieve the pressure like a hot dog. Yeah. He said it would, uh, he said he's seen people get bit and their hams, their hams, their, their hammies, their yams turn Creamy into hamstrings. Hams. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the, he said it, 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 it'll balloon up like a ham. So anyway, these fuckers finally get this thing pinned down. And at that point, I'm like, is he is his hand just gonna give out and this guy dies? But he he milks the snake. I, I held its tail, it was pretty gross. And um we look at the venom. Yeah, the venom was, I don't know, it was like a quarter shot of alcohol. And he's like, Yeah, this could kill six people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn. Like, so why do you why do you do this? Yeah, literally. It was also funny because everything else we had done that day was sort of like dares. Mm -hmm. And then that part was just kind of random. Yeah. And we nobody knew what the purpose was. Yeah. It was just like, look at how cool this is. And we were like, this is not cool. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. We just like willingly engaged almost dying. Yeah. Like that thing could have just killed all of us. Yeah. If it felt like it. Yeah. <laughs> it could have owned that farm. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever. So at the end of that, you know, then it was time for us to do the dares. Um, I put like some hissing cockroaches on my face. Mm hmm those things felt gross. Those were nasty. Those were yeah. nasty. The guy said cockroaches. I, I pictured the ones that are like this big. Yeah. <laughs> they were full on. Yeah. Little beefy boys. And then to get them to stay on my face, I had to put them on my lips. <laughs> and and like the feeling, it 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 was gross because um their feet were like like record needles. Like they were like sharp. So as it's like crawling on my face, it the fact that it was a cockroach didn't even bother me. It was just the needles that like, were genuinely uncomfortable. Um, it, even when it was like falling on my arms and shit, like I, I oh, it was creepy. I kind of just didn't care. Yeah, it was that shit was creepy. And then we did a tarantula, and 
You had a spasm, dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't like spiders at all. Yeah, especially tarantulas. Those things are fucking horrifying. Yeah, horrifying. They put it on my crotch. I just didn't care at that point in the day. Uh, It was. I thought that was really funny when it was crawling on me, and they're like, "Can you act like you're scared?" (laughs) (laughs) I was just like, "Ah!" Ah! Yeah. So then they took out the tarantula. Okay, whatever. So then, so then the big hero moment is. They tell it. I find out earlier in the like, day. Can I say it because I. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah, yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's going to be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Noel knew what was going on. <laughs> I didn't for some reason. Did they just like tell you when you got to set? Yeah, that someone mentioned it to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. So. I was like, I don't know why you guys are pranking me. This is. What are we doing though? Like, what's going on? Yeah. And everyone's kind of like got like sort of a wry smile on set, and they're like, oh, just wait. And so we meet up with this woman. She's like, you know ranch lady she's wearing like jeans and a hat and she's like come on boys like let's get dirty or something like that and so we're like okay we walk up and there's a cow like tied up to a to a railing and she's holding a big bottle and so she's like all right uh do you do you boys (laughs) no okay, okay she she's also holding these giant gloves that are the length of an arm Plastic gloves, right? <laughs> yeah. And so she puts one of these things on, and she's like, all right, lube me up. And I was like, what do you mean this is lube? Why do you need this much lube? And she's like, just dump a whole bunch of lube in my hand. And so I was like, okay. And I poured a bunch of lube. Like She's like, more, more lube. And this thing, like, by this, you know, by this point, this, this, this fist is lubed up. Yeah. No, it's, it's literally a chalice of lube. Yeah. In her hand. Yeah. And so she then makes this shape and pulls the cow's tail up and just dives directly into this thing's asshole. For everyone on audio, what is this shape? Define it with your hand. It's like an alligator. Yeah, like if you're making a shadow puppet? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, deaf. Hello. Like that. Yeah? So she... Into an asshole. Right? She goes up to here. Where, where's and here? Then, what? Where's here? Forearm. Ah, uh, like wrist. Yeah. She's up to her wrist right now in this cow's body. And then and then we're looking at each other like, oh my god, oh my god. And then she just goes all the way and just pushes her arm, her entire arm, all the way inside this cow, up to her fucking shoulder. And I have to note that the whole time she's doing this, the cow keeps like shifting and moving. And she's like, oh, oh easy, girl, easy, easy. Yeah, and she's just moving with it. Yeah. They're just, now they're the human centipede. Yeah. She's now she's arm, she's shoulder shoulder deep. deep in this thing, and she's describing like the medical benefits of doing this she's procedure, like, or like the reason why you'd even do it in the first place. It's to, like feel like the pregnant, um, her uterus basically when she's pregnant, yeah. or to you like can feel all their organs and shit. I guess. Yeah. And so it's to like keep track of the cow, make sure it's healthy when it's <laughs> pregnant, and so on and so forth. She's just talking to us about its organs. She's like, you can feel everything. It's really amazing. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> as she's as she's arm deep in the arm deep thing. in the cow ass. So I had got it in my head that I was gonna fake this whole thing out, where I'm like, I'm gonna take a glove, I'm gonna put some lube in my hand, and I was just gonna get up until the point to get Cody to be like, no, and then we got the shot. Okay, great. <laughs> so I put the lube in my hand, and now Cody's egging me on. He's like, dude, you said you were gonna do it. You did say. I did. I did say to like fuck with him that I was gonna do it. And so now I have the lube in my hand, and I'm and I get up to the asshole. You make. Oh no 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 wait let's make it no no let's make an important note here. So, warning: this is a perverse family moment. So after the lady gives us this beautiful speech about internal organs, she unsleeves her hand from the asshole, (laughs) and it is covered in cow shit. (laughs) It is Dude, covered in cow shit. I cannot explain to you how gross that moment was. I don't think you need to explain an arm covered in cow shit. <laughs> Liquid cow shit. Dude, and this is shit both this is shit deep in the colon. This is like shit before it actually forms and becomes solid. It's just like oh green. God, I'm gonna just, puke. I'm gonna puke. And, and I can remember she it. She pulled that shit. Dude. She pulled that shit out. And I looked, I took one look at her arm and took one little smell like that. I went, I went like this. Oh. 
Ugh! and I'm standing there like literally for five minutes <laughs> on the, the verge of puking. Shut the fuck up. So that, that, that is actually an important distinction. <laughs> no, wait, and you're forgetting, you're forgetting what she did after her arm came <laughs> What did she do? She fucking turns to me. Yeah. She fucking pulls her arm out. Uh, now she's cupping. Oh my god, a handful of <laughs> shit. <laughs> she's cupping a handful of shit. She turns to me and gestures a handful of shit to me and goes, You're gonna get a little poop on your hand. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about this actually oh, just bringing back every so feeling. now me and Cody are dry heaving like you know whatever so then fast forward you know after seeing all that I still put the glove on us you know Cody's now is like put the lube in your hand put the lube in your hand and he just he dumps it into my hand trying to egg me on I lubed my boy up so, <laughs> so then she like preps my glove. I get next to the cow. She pulls up the tail. My hand <laughs> is like on the, and mind you, the shit is green. So I'm about to go in and then I, and I, and I back out. I'm like, whoa. And I turn away and I go, oh, it's just like reaching in a can of pesto. All right, I can do this. I go back up to the asshole and i make you the, you looked at i made the mistake cuz like i'm thinking like this is like this is like a moment of bravery so i'm going to look this monster in the eyes i look at the asshole this asshole looked like meat canyon drew it yeah 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 it is it, it was is. so gigantic and yeah. just like it was like a human's asshole just exaggerated times 5000 oh yeah no it looked like the eye of sauron yeah. made of ham yeah. it was yeah. fucking <laughs> gross dude so I was like, I'm brave if I look at it, right? And my bravery so quickly disappeared. I'm like, what am I doing? I had a, like an instant existential crisis. I'm like, what is the meaning of life that I'm like, what am I doing? I didn't sign up for this. I like woke up this morning. I'm not going to go arm deep in a cow ass like just because. Like, so I bailed. I'm like, nah. But, you know, we're rolling. And for whatever reason, I don't know what possessed you. Well, because I'm like, I, there's no other way out. There's no other way out of this. There I mean, isn't. We're standing there with the girl who just taught us how to do this. She's looking at us like, you know, like, come on, pussies. And oh, yeah, the she's saying all this standing stuff. there like, you don't have to, but like, you know, and the cow's asshole is like, come on. Yeah. yeah. It is. You know, insert. insert go, inside, go inside me. Insert yourself. Well, so I was like, all right, fuck it. Put the glove on. Well, what's hilarious is the whole time the lady is like barking at me. She's like, come on, be a man. Who's going to be a man? I'm like, clearly you're the man in this situation, <laughs> lady. Like, very, you are. You're the man. Like, obviously you're the, the man here. Yeah. Yeah, so Cody. Lubed up. Made the alligator. But she didn't look at the asshole. Uh, no, 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 I didn't. You went. I looked away. I, I, I got the general, like, gist of where I was, and then I kind of looked away, and, like, I kind of felt it. I found it with, with you know, with touch. Yeah. <laughs> and I go in, and it's like, you know, you... You kind of get in there. To the, it's like difficult up to the wrist. Yeah. And then it just slides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seemed that way. Once you got past the hard point, you just like, you just locked into that yeah, thing. Yeah. You wore yeah. her <laughs> like a glove. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it just, yeah. That was just you now. She, it took some encouragement though from the lady. She was like, no, all the way up to the shoulder. And I was like, I'm in. I did it. I, can I leave now? And I'm like, no, you got to go all the way. And then like the, they're running around the cameras like, give us a reaction. Give us a reaction. And I'm so glad I didn't do this because now with you shoulder deep into the cow, you're like drooling from like dry heaving i was yes. yeah <laughs> i was fully salivating and drooling it's like you were just like uh, 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 <laughs> i was also like blacked out i blacked out for a second because i was just like i don't, I don't want to remember this but what i did good. remember was feeling her uterus oh it was fucking crazy literally you could feel like her organs yeah and all the it just felt like oh you know God, when in halloween cow. they like when they put like, in a haunted house they like tell you to put your yeah, hand yeah, into yeah. a bowl of like wet spaghetti or something like that. Yeah, it was like that, but it was a lot smoother. You're doing all that, and that cow is like on the other side, like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> who is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what the fuck? He is in my guts. Oh my <laughs> god, he's literally mixing my shit. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> 
I knew I didn't have any walls. Jesus. She's just up there rolling her eyes. Just, uh. <clears throat> and you're just, Jesus, he's three feet long. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and you're shoulder deep, and then it comes out. You pull the glove out. As I'm, as I'm coming out, she goes, grab some shit on the way out. <laughs> no, she Literally didn't. as, yes, no, as I'm at didn't. the point where I can feel it clumping up in my hands. <laughs> it's like collecting there. <laughs> just without, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's like literally, I just have to. I have to like illustrate how gross this was because as she said that it was like involuntarily collecting in my hand anyways <laughs> And so I felt it it just made it so much more real the fact that she said collect some shit as it's collecting in my hand And then I pull it out. It's like <laughs> And I just <laughs> And then uh And then it was on my shirt. Yeah, and this is actually the shirt. Yeah, so that we, I was wearing I haven't washed it yet No, you're forgetting the best part. We we go to change and you're like touching your face. I'm like, dude, did you wash your hands? <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, I should probably do that. I'm like, yeah, you should definitely do that. Did you just... And then I forgot what you did, but I like laughed so hard. Because I thought like, for some reason you said something that implied to me that you had shit on your hand. And you were like, and you were still touching your face. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember what you did. Um, but then as you said that and like... After we're talking about washing your hands, you like turn around. I'm like, bro, it's on your shirt, yeah. and it was just like a little dabble of hot sauce on the back of your shirt. I'm like, dude, get out of here, get yeah. that shit away from me. Yeah, literally. This is actually the shirt, but I washed it. Yeah, and then and then my competitive nature came out, and I had like a, a crisis afterward for 30 minutes. I'm like, I should have did it. He's like, I should have fucking, I should have fisted the fucking cow, dude. Why didn't I do that? But I'm then like, yeah, you trust me, you didn't really miss miss anything. Yeah, I slept on it. And I woke up the next day. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. I'm I'm okay. Yeah. I'm glad I got to watch you do it though. You know you like do something cool and you know, you text the group chat. Yo, I just I didn't even didn't even bother. Yeah. I just was like, I don't think I'm gonna tell anyone about this. Yeah. Except for the entire internet. Yeah, except for the entire internet. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, that was awful. It made me think of one in Practical Jokers when they made Sal deliver a baby calf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he delivered it? Yeah. Yeah. He From the asshole? He was like working with like a farmhand to like deliver. Does it come out of it doesn't come out of the asshole? No. No, it doesn't shit a baby out. <laughs> I don't know how cow's anatomy work. I mean you saw you saw her vagine. Did I? Oh, that was that thing was looking right at us before we So the we... asshole and the pussy was right here? Yeah. Oh, oh damn, you gotta call it why you gotta call it a pussy. <laughs> it's a cow pussy. It's a it pussy, not? yeah. It's a cussy. Yeah, a cussy. Yeah. A kawussy. And I, yeah. I don't know. Just I feel like pussy is reserved for humans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the cow's ham wallet. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels less Beef aggressive. Wallet. <laughs> it feels less aggressive to like line up behind a cow and be like, yeah, look at that puss. <laughs> Sorry, the cow's cunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, that one doesn't even bother me. No, cow snatch. That's good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's gentler. Well, cow sna snatch. Snatch even sounds like, um, you know, almost like it's like motivated slang. Yeah. Oh yeah, we call it the snatch because it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll snatch your arm right up. Yeah, I take mean, your... the, No, that's the asshole. Whoa, wrong hole. Yeah. We we're we we're we we're joking on set about it, <laughs> it like being quicksand in there or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I get all the way in and I'm like, I'm in, I'm in. Guys, it's not stopping. <laughs> guys, What's, it's not stopping. Guys, just slowly like, <laughs> oh. yeah. And then you just see my two feet, like, yeah. Just the whole thing, just like, just swallow my entire body. Your Augustus glute, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> guys, it's not. And everyone's like laughing on set and like, <laughs> like vomiting, and they're all laughing. This is so so great. And I'm like, it's not, it's not stopping. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <sighs> what a what a time. Yeah, that's hilarious that you left that and went home. And then, like, you just open up your phone, someone's like, what'd you get into today? You're like, nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> just saw someone milk a spider. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Pretty normal day. Standard boring, honestly. Didn't do anything. I just posted up, honestly. Yeah, it just chilled. Yeah. What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I have PTSD from that, I think. Maybe, hopefully, maybe they'll let us, like, expose that footage one day. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I don't, 
I think all the comments will be a resounding, we're good. Yeah, yeah. We will. Anyways, war's been pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah. 